I'm John Burke. And I'm Ian Kelty. We have a dank show for you today. First off, we want to let you know tomorrow the SATs. For those of you taking them, Mr. Morford wants you to know that you will need a picture ID in order for you to test or you will not be able to take them. So if you got Saturday detention, don't follow the signs that say SAT. Might be an easy mistake. Anyways, last week some of you know there was a special presentation after school by the Invisible Children Foundation. And Ryan Flagg has the report. Hey guys, I'm here with the and we're going to check out the Invisible Children presentation. Let's go inside. The presentation began with the Foundation's new film, The Rescue of Joseph Sony's Child Soldier. The film documented how far along the Foundation has come, traveling from a background to the crew's hometown, to Uganda itself where they helped out to actually try and reason and create peace with Tony. <laughs> After the film, Jane Oyela came out to express her thoughts and share her story. My father was killed by the rebels, and so many of my family members were also killed by these rebels. So many of my friends were abducted and taken into the jungles. Some of them were killed. Some of them, up to now, have not yet come back. The rebels came in my village and surrounded it and killed 150 people. I survived that because that night I had gone to sleep in the jungle. I talked to Brianna O'Brien about how it all came together. According to what we learned at the presentation, Coney doesn't have a purpose for his army. He's in survival mode right now, and because of that, he's been located in more than four countries besides Uganda, the Central African Republic, South Sudan, the DR Congo, and Sudan. He's fighting for his own power and has no purpose for what he's doing, which is why he needs to be stopped. We also learned that the LRA got support from the Sudan government, but that stopped in 2006. They now finance and feed themselves by looting and stealing from local villages. The last bit of information we got was that the invisible children know where Coney is, but not exactly though. And finally, we learned that the LRA is not the largest rebel group in Africa. Thanks to Brianna O'Brien for making that event happen. Although I wasn't able to make it, it looks like it was a great presentation that opened the eyes of many. In other news, the school lunch menu has taken on some drastic changes. A lot of changes that has the Winnicunnick community in a tizzy, Talty. Let's check out why so many people are flustered over the new school lunches.
Gee willikers, the lunches have been changing almost as much as the weather lately. Good segue, buddy. That brings us to our next story. Lexi and Aaron have the story about fall and the many things you can do during the crisp season. Let's check it out. I could definitely go for a cider donut right now. I agree, John. That sounds delicious. Well, one cut it. It's about that time Ian and I close out the show. It was a pleasure, fellow warriors. Have a great weekend. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>